This video will get you started with the TESOL framework, turning your idea and thoughts into a spec which will be the source of truth. From within my agent, I'll say I want to create a Hangman CLI game. There's no need to flood the agent with too much information, as the bootstrapping process asks me more questions about what I want to create. And of course, I can add more to the spec and add detail at a later point as part of normal development. I'm asked about my preferred language, testing framework, and some questions about some of the basic requirements as part of the bootstrapping process. Now that we've given our guidance on these decisions, the environment can be set up. This will include creating tsconfig and package JSON files, as well as setting up Vitist. This creates a project environment that will allow us to create our application, but test and validate that our generated code adheres to the requirements in our spec. Directories are created for our spec files, generated code files, and test files. Once this is done, we can create the spec via the TESOL MCP server, which Claude invokes. While this runs, let's take a look at what has been created on our file system. Our environmental bootstrapping decisions have been captured in our agent's MD file. This includes our language and testing preferences. Our directory structure has been created. There's nothing in our source or test directories as we haven't generated anything just yet. Our various dependency and testing environments are also set up. Our specs folder will contain all the specs for our project, and it looks like TESOL has finished the spec creation task already. Our Hangman game spec contains a short brief of what we're trying to create with a list of capabilities, some of which we were asked about during the bootstrapping process. We also have an API structure for the application, which looks good. I might make a quick change to make sure the game has a visual element to it as well. Let's go back to our agent and suggest the change we want to see in the spec. In this case, add a visual hangman element after each turn. This is now an iterative process we can do either with an agent or simply by manually editing our spec file in our IDE of choice. I'd recommend you use the development environment you're most comfortable with. Again, this invokes TESOL's MCP server, but this time, rather than running the create tool, it's the edit tool that is used, as we want to update an existing spec. Looks like TESOL has completed the update, so let's take a look at the changes that have been made. Back in the spec file, we can see a new visual hangman drawing section, which does a good job describing the stages of the hangman visual with the gallows and the stages of the hangman. I'm happy with this spec now, and we can proceed to the next stage. We have created and edited a TESOL spec via TESOL's MCP server within Claude Code. Our next step is to turn the spec into an application and generate the code via the TESOL framework's build functionality.